What is going on fellow Clashers? Welcome and thank you for stopping by for another episode of Galadon Gaming. Today, covering Town Hall 9 Three Star Clan War Attacks. And Supercell can't seem to make up its mind about the balancing of clan wars at Town Halls 9, 10, 11. You've got the change in time, you obviously had the addition of the Dark Spell a while back. But I feel like maybe right now Town Hall 9 is doing okay, back at the 3 minute mark for the war attack timer. Now we are seeing more and more of these dead zone bases with a varying amount of success. Here you've got so much of the interior of this base, it's almost like a reverse donut base with nothing at the center, forcing the attacker to do a lot of working around that middle part to get to the last structures, obviously spreading out things like the air defenses, the expos, and other splash damage. And yes, you might have noticed this is none other than Peter's $17 Awesome. This is Peter's own clan that we're featuring this war on, and well, okay, so I did play a trick or two on Peter recently, so this was a little bit of payback for him to go ahead and feature what was an incredibly close clan war with some great three-star attacks. This one here from Gandalf, $39. Now he's got a pretty solid start to his Golaloon, although it looks like that queen is not going to get to that next air defense over there on the lower right. So he's going to go ahead and start the air phase from the right hand side, the heroes are done, the town hall is still standing, and 25% damage already accomplished. But here come the Lava Hounds and they're all over the place. The Rage spell takes a while, but that precision deployment of the balloons eventually works out. The balloons get in there, and just two or three going after each individual defense. As you can see, Gandalf working in that counterclockwise direction, continuing to deploy the Lava Hound first, and then the balloons two or three at a time, going after those individual defenses, the Rage Spell helping them get through, and the Lava Hound turning into the pups back behind the group of balloons, working out perfectly to clean up those outside structures. Now I do like the addition of the haste spells here to help hasten the balloons, for lack of a better term, across the dead zone area. Really it's not so much the time that it takes as it is the damage they can experience while traveling those areas. But as you saw there, the expo was set to ground and that is a huge disadvantage for this base. Not a great idea for any attempt at an anti-3 to set it to ground at Town Hall 9 when obviously the attacker can just go air like you saw here, grab the 3 star as Gandalf is about to do the last 10 seconds of this battle counting down. There are no defensive structures left and Gandalf wrapping up a solid Town Hall 9 3 star against a dead zone base. But Peter's clan is home to lots of diverse personalities as well as diverse attack strategies. And here you've got the a little bit of everything attack. Well, everything but hog riders pretty much in this attack. Valkyries, golem, balloon, minion, healer. And he's starting out with the queen walk. I do like the funneling here with just a couple of minions on the top of the village there, making sure that the queen isn't going to go around and to the left. The giant to soak up that damage and the wall breaker to make sure the queen heads in after the air defense, after that expo, inside that first enclosure. Now JJ's attack is taking the idea of a kill squad one step further as he is sending in waves of attacks, several, to get the job done here to go for that three star. So the queen heal, the queen walk here at the top of your screen is going to start things out and she does a great job. I love the early poison spell anticipating the release of that clan castle troop. So it goes to work on the Lava Hound and on the Barbarian King at the same time. The Queen's still at full health and now she's going to be focused on working on that Lava Hound, getting it out of the way and the Lava Pups of course. And in the meantime, JJ is going to start work just to the left, working counterclockwise once again with the King, the second wave of this attack, the King Golem Valkyrie moving in here into this other compartment to clear out these other defenses and work their way in there along with a heal spell to help keep those units up to survive the damage from the Expo, the Cannon, and of course the Giant Bomb. And next, here comes the Dragon Face at the bottom of the screen. And JJ really, you can tell that he broke this base down and looked at it closely. He's obviously hoping the King would go after that next air defense and these dragons wouldn't suffer the damage. But it's not quite working out as the King goes down after the Elixir Storage instead. And the dragons are going to see a lot of damage from that air defense before it finally falls to the Golem and the Wizards. But I did like this taking advantage of the slightly lopsided deployment of the air defenses towards the top side of this village as the dragons work on the bottom 
things look like they might not work out so well right here. 69% damage about that dragon off to the left and the queen she is key she is still at full health with those healers you've got wizards on the outside cleanup and you've got the barbarian king with a golem so indeed they are going to converge and work their way back towards these very last defenses and eventually wrap up another solid three star attack right there the double giant bombs are going to go off in the center but that is not a concern for the barbarian king and the golem of course the valkyries even really not feeling it too much they're on their way towards the town hall the archer queen stuck on her favorite target but eventually will rejoin the rest of the crew 97 percent damage to the last of the structures just about to go down and that wizard tower and the elixir collector there they go and that is it three more stars for peter 17 dollars awesome all right so we will move on to the next attack and this one from another obviously dedicated member you've got veil vale, uh i guess it's veil vale infinity dollars from peter 17 dollars awesome going against another kind of anti-3 kind of open layout no dead zone but really there's such a wide spread of structures and so many open spaces for the uh, old dgbs that you've got to be careful if you're bringing hogs and that is exactly what Vale has brought to this attack but he's got the golem first the valkyries and the heroes to work on clearing out most of these structures and get towards that town hall getting the defending barbarian king down getting the clan castle troops down a couple of poison spells so there you can still use double poison you just can't not have any troops double negative you cannot you must have troops down on the playing field so that the troops from the clan castle will focus and stay in that poison spell because they're focused on firing on one of the attacking troops worked out really well the poison spells got the dragon and the other units out of the clan castle and now here come the hogs from the outside of the village from the top and the bottom and veil has got a pair of heal spells that he doesn't look like he's even going to need these hogs are doing fine they're on their way through the last defensive structures and there at the bottom of your screen you can see that golem is going to draw fire from the expo and that allows those hog riders to get in there and just go from structure to structure just taking defense after defense down and that is really the key to these goho attacks is using that golem as a distractor as a damage soak so that your hogs can get the rest of the job done that's gonna be it veil vale infinity dollars is wrapping it up and right there i'm thinking that's a calling card it looks like an infinity sign to me the double heal spells the troll drop on the clan castle veil vale infinity dollars with an infinitive definitive three-star clan war attack and the finish to this clan war was thrilling for sure as we take a look at the final score it was actually a tie in stars that is right 67 67 and peter's clan winning by just about a half a percentage point in total damage done both clans pulling 18 three-star attacks but peter's clan using all 50 of their attacks that is clan cohesion those guys absolutely tight-knit and doing well congratulations to peter 17 dollars and congratulations to you or should i say thank you guys very much for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode don't forget to check out my other episodes subscribe for daily clash of clans and clash royale content and i hope to see all of you guys back here again tomorrow for more full attacks There you go, Peter. As agreed, there's an episode on your clan war. What do you say? You're welcome. That's right. Thank you.